guys, it's your girl Brie and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we're gonna get right into the video. Today I'm going to be doing a very easy drugstore makeup routine. I know y'all tired of seeing me using all the good stuff. So I just wanna make sure I come through and get the people that's not ready to invest in makeup all the way. And also, I'm not sure if it'll be up yet, but I have created a makeup guide for you guys to purchase step by step if you're um what they call them type of learners people that needs to read and also visualize at the same time so i have created an ebook i will have the link down below if you would like to go and purchase that and it's also on sale so make sure y'all get it before it goes back to regular price so we're gonna jump right into the video all the products you can get are from Walmart, Target, your local beauty supply, CVS, Walgreens, all those good type of drugstores y'all can go to and get these products. So without further ado, let's get into the video for real. So we're starting out with freshly prepped skin. So I did already cleanse my face and then I simply went in with a toner, a vitamin C serum, a moisturizer, and that's about it. We not getting into the gist of a skin prep. Y'all know what a skin prep is. Clean face, um, any serums that you may need, vitamin C serums, hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid for sure. This cross. They need to stop making stuff in glass bottles. So I just be dropping stuff. But this is the hyaluronic acid that I like from Good Molecules. Very tacky and I actually really like it. So if you do need an affordable moisturizer, you can go in to your store and get this Pond's moisturizer. And y'all, it works very, very well. And like I said, I've already moisturized my face, so I'm not going to be doing that again, but this is a product if you need um, something to moisturize. But now I'm going to be going in with this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. You can get this at your drugstore. So yes, first step. Basically, I just apply the primer to my skin. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more, just so y'all can see. I'm recording a reel as well, so I'm trying to like make sure I get it in between. Rub this into my skin. And this is a good substitute if you don't have the Milk Hydro Grip Primer on the more expensive side as well. So me personally, I like to do my brows first. So this is a NYX Yak New York Brow Pencil. This is from the Beauty Supply Store. And I just make sure I take a sharpener and just make sure it's sharp because I feel like I get the best results when it's like freshly sharpened versus if it wasn't. I'm gonna try to do my brows on camera. I suck at doing them on camera, but we're gonna try for y'all. I have my mirror and basically, I'm just gonna kind of brush them over a bit. Same way. And then, I'm just kind of gonna start filling it in. I usually draw a line, but I'm trying to start doing my brows a bit different. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill it in, try to do my natural eyebrow shape, but not make it too, too, you know. I do like for my brows to look like they're done though. Like, the soft is cool though. I still wanna go for soft, but at the same time still look like I purposely did my brows, you know what I mean? Oh, I think this is actually perfect. Not too much. I feel very comfortable. But I'm gonna do the other side and then come back to y'all. So for my brows, I'm gonna be concealing in the shade Deep Caramel. This is the Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer. Once again, the shade Deep Caramel. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Maybe like two little swipes of that. And then I'm going to get a flat brush. Where's my little flat brush? Found my brush. All these brushes you can get from the uh, stores too. The brush that I'm going to be working with the most is Elf and Real Techniques, which they sell the pack at the store. So I'm just going to take this concealer and just like, you know, same process. We follow the same process of tutorials, y'all. Just put more affordable products. 
now the elf concealer does dry down a bit faster so sometimes well really all the time you have to just go ahead and blend it out so i'm going to also drag that down to my eye to prep that base for eyeshadow i'm going to take my real technique brush in the um number 300 and then i'm just going to blend this out i wanted to show you this before my camera dies and just go ahead and blend that out like such and your base should start looking a bit more smoother just like that okay you guys so now we're going to be setting our eyelids with the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the shade 20 medium deep i'm working with the shades that i have for y'all but I have not used drugstore products in a while, so the collection is a bit slim. So just work with me, but we're gonna be using this to set our eyes, and then we'll move on to eyeshadow. So wet placing this product on your eyes, it helps avoid any creasing. Also sets the eyes so that the concealer does not move from where you place it, and it's also going to give you that added pop to your eyeshadow as well. And honestly, a lot of this stuff is just about technique and how you apply it. Drugstore products aren't good, I'm not gonna lie. Once you start using better products, you will definitely notice a difference in application and blending and all that stuff. Cause like for some instances, you may have to blend a little bit more using certain products than if you was using like a better product that don't require that much, if you know what I mean. I'm going to take this Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm going from a shade medium to dark. And I'm going to use this contour shade. I know it's about empty, but I'm going to use that as my eyeshadow. So yeah, I'm just going to tap and apply that on there just like that. And you want to bring it up into that eyebrow and then avoid the brow bone. And also just keep in mind that you can use other products to complete a look. You could have used a liquid foundation or um, another bronzer or anything like that for your eyeshadow. So yeah, you just want to blend that in. Tap. And then just make sure you blend it out very, very well. And that's, that's it, y'all. This is a product that I started off with for a while before I learned about other products and stuff like this. So is a good contour palette for sure a little up close action and then for that brow bone i kind of just tap so i make sure the concealer is blended out up there and it's a seamless blend into the eyeshadow i'm gonna just go over this one more time to make sure it's blended out very very smoothly go ahead and pop my lashes on off camera these lashes i did get off of amazon but you can find you some good lashes in the beauty supply store and walmart and the glue i'm going to be using is duo lash glue so basically all i do is apply the glue to my lash line and then attach the lashes just take that and apply it to literally the skin like right above the lash right above my lashes and i'm going to let that dry down for a little bit just once it start getting like a bit clear then that's when you're going to want to apply the lash okay so now i'm just going to take my mirror so i can see and literally just pop it on And there you have it, the lashes are on. And that's how you do it, boo, period, ay, ay. Foundations I'm gonna be working with today is the Maybelline Superstay Active Wear 30 Hour Foundation. I'll start off with this um, Maybelline foundation. It is in the shade 370 Deep Bronze. So I'm gonna just apply, actually that's almost kind of perfect few drops starting off and then whatever I have left I blend that to my forehead so I'm just gonna play some of this okay it's a bit light but I can add um, a bit of that darker um, foundation to my skin to you know kind of get a perfect match if that makes sense 
because sometimes especially if you're like a makeup artist you don't have every person's shade so sometimes you know actually this might be perfect by itself this might be perfect by itself so now i'm going to take this um elf buffing foundation brush and we're literally just going to blend this into the skin just like that and you want to go in tapping motions and y'all like i said a lot of these products do tend to dry down a bit fast so you don't want to have it sitting on your face like entirely too long but if you do have it here if you do have it sitting too long just grab a spray spray your face a setting spray or a mist spray whatever you want to call it and you can use that now we're going to be doing concealer this is not the shade i wanted to use y'all but okay whatever so i'm just gonna apply this into the corners since it's the wrong shade and it is okay this is in the shade tan sand by the way in case you guys were wondering i wanted to use deep caramel because this is supposed to be like you know beginner friendly every day what you can do so i'm literally just gonna take this and like i said you gotta be a little fast with this concealer because of the fact that it dries down so fast or whatever this one is still a bit light but like it's okay so we're just gonna apply this in all the places that you know you usually would apply your concealer anyway so you know nothing nothing new here down the bridges of the nose okay so now i'm gonna take my morphe spray y'all i do not have no drugstore setting spray this is what i've been using since day one since i started my makeup journey so yeah so i'm just gonna spray that i'm going to use this real technique 402 setting brush to go ahead and blend out this concealer And I kind of just, you know, blend in place. And I am also still, you know, going at like a fast pace because the concealer does dry down a bit fast. I also keep a brush or a paper towel handy to wipe off any excess product, you know. Okay, you guys, so this is the concealer blended out. Let me make sure this light isn't making nothing look funny, but um. We just gonna leave you alone but um yes this is our um concealer fully blended out now you could go in with the damp beauty blender but i have not dampened one but i don't know i feel like brushes are good for this type of look as well so now we're going to go ahead and contour and this is from black opio in the shade ebony brown so you can find this at your store you just want to place it on your cheekbones basically and don't be scared to contour y'all i have finally started just just going with the flow just doing it because my makeup always comes out 10 times better when i just add the contour and stop being so scary i don't want to mess up my cute edges like i literally just did my hair today yeah y'all don't be scared to contour jawline and then you definitely want to hit your nose if you're scared to do this you can take a skinny brush and apply the contour that way as well and then sometimes i just apply right here that's about it I just realized that I meant to use this brush for my contour and this for my my foundation, but it's okay. I just wiped some of that product off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this brush to blend out that contour. 
And you just want to tap, go in tapping motion. And then I like to bring it up. Well, you don't have to bring it up just yet either. You can also, when you blend out your forehead, bring it down at that point. So you just want to make sure this is blended out. Go ahead and get the bottom. Also like to just go ahead and get my chin. And then that contour that we did up there. I don't really care too much about how I blend down there because it's at the bottom. So not too much. Just follow your jawline. We're gonna take that concealer brush that we use and go in between. Like hit the concealer area. You don't wanna get too much on the contour because then that contour will come all the way up into your concealer. So you just wanna go over where you place all that concealer. Just to kind of even everything back out a bit. Okay, so I'm going to use the same brush again and just go down on my nose. But just go straight down. Do not like do nothing extra. Just go straight down just like this in the direction that I'm going. Let me record that's on my reel. Yeah, you just I'm gonna go down. And then I'm going to take this brush that I use for my eyebrows and blend the rest of that contour into my eyebrow. Just like that. And y'all see that shine in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that for my nose. Now we're going to go ahead and get into our setting powder. So I'm just making sure that concealer is flat up under my eyes to avoid any creasing. And just going over any of those air areas where I concealed. Now we're going to take this powder in the shade 20. Again, I'm just going to take a powder puff, lightly press that in there, dust it off and look up. And just keep tapping this into the skin just like that this is flawless And if you're still watching this video, subscribe because you trust in the process. Like, you my dog, you my girl, for sure. Now, if this part does scare you, you can still take a setting brush, which I was gonna use, just thought about that, and lightly tap, I'll show y'all what I mean. You can lightly tap that into your skin with the brush as well. Okay, so like I said, y'all can take another setting brush, tap that into there, I didn't get a lot of that. Tap that on there and literally just tap it on the forehead, just like that, to set that concealer. Just like that. And then I'll take this and just tap it in to my nose. And then I'm gonna take this brush. Just kind of dust it off a little bit. Well, to set the rest of the face, we're going to be going in with the shade 40 from the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder Collection. Or whatever. Is this brush? Oh no, I'm not going to use that brush. And I'm still going to take my powder puff again, just dab that in there, but blow it off real, real good. And then just, you know, tap that into my skin. Just like that. So now to set my contour, we're going to use this angle brush. And we're going to go back in with this Black Radiance Contour Palette. So I'm going to use that same shade again that I used for the eyes. And then just press. 
that into the skin on top of the contour. that powder puff that I used to set my concealer and just kind of blend that out again just like that and then I don't really care to do my nose because I kind of went over that with the powder so that's okay usually you want to press powder to complement your concealer shade so i'm going to be using the maybelline fit me press powder in the shade mocha and i'm lightly going to tap because i don't want the brightness to go away too much just tap that off and then i'm just going to tap this into where i place my concealer that way it's not like overly bright but you know just bright enough just a little bit I'm gonna tap that and you're placing this everywhere you put concealer so this is how your face should look right now snatched period so this is a blush from the beauty supply from the beauty supply store and we're going to be using this elf blush brush and basically i'm just going to tap into this red dark red over here because that looks better on me and just lightly place i haven't used bright blush in a long time so yeah i put a little more red on the other side but it's okay so now i'm going to take that powder puff again and blend that out so it's like a seamless blend and then let me use this brush actually to blend that out a bit more okay, so this lip liner i'm going to be using is by nk makeup in the shade coca i don't know if it's gonna work on my skin tone but we're gonna see so i'm just gonna line my lips these are the lips so now we're going to go in with the Maybelline what you even call this super stay Mac ink in the shade 65 seductress pencil that I used in the beginning of the video and just literally actually let me do it right here and literally just on the skin of it because I'm scary and if you want like a little pop and I'm going to take my beauty supply lip gloss Take my Morphe spray and we're gonna spray. Fix my eyebrows. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look, period. Uh, so I just proved to y'all that y'all can do this with some affordable products. All the products will be um, listed in the description box down below. If you enjoyed this video and want more like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Okay? And period. Stay tuned for that next video. 
Thanks for watching.